to breakfast. Only fast, fast, yeah, quick, fast. A piece of toast and one of these. So peanut butter or a slice of cheese. Milk or juice to wash it down. It's a fast, fast, quick, fast. work. Tiny to hide with his lucky charms, the crunchy old cereal with marshmallow surprises, pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Yum! I'll help them. Where are your lucky charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good nutritious breakfast. But the lucky charms? They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. Is that another bad girl? It's me and my underoos. You and your underoos. Underoos look out of sight. Supergirl! Wearing underoos is fun! You can take it from us. We're the ones! Wonder Woman! Underwear is fun to wear! It's true when it's you and your under! You and your under! You and your underoos! Anyway. I don't know. They say he used to be a Hollywood special effects man until an accident turned him into Mysterio. Is it true? Is Spider-Man really going to be here? Will I really see him? Yes, my dear. You'll see a lot more tonight than you ever dreamed of. of minutes my special celebrity guest will arrive and my trap will be complete somehow i feel like i'm walking right into a trap a spider trap but the tv already announced i'd make an appearance on the mysterio disco hour show so Spider sense is tingling like mad. If Mysterio is up to no good, maybe I can unmask him on his own show. Look, it's really Spider-Man! Oh, our special guest star has arrived. In honor of our wall-crawling friend, I have prepared a special tune. With a clever little touch of my own added in. I now command an army of loyal followers. Feel honored, Webhead. You are the subject of my first command. Listen to me. I am Mysterio. I am your leader. You will obey me. Spider-Man is our enemy. You must destroy our enemies. You must destroy Spider-Man. Somehow I've got a 
save my own spider skin without hurting anyone. There's only one way out of this. I've got to stop Mysterio now before he gets too powerful. A little spider muscle should make short work of this door. What's the matter, web brain? Losing your touch? That door is a special creation of my own, designed to keep out unwanted guests. This time, wall crawler, but you'll never escape me. Some days he hardly pays to be a lovable superhero. Get him! We've got to destroy him! I think it's time Spider-Man became good old Peter Parker for a while. Especially since Peter has a play rehearsal to study for. of ESU, I, I have a big responsibility. What you're asking me to do? Fool! Mysterio does not ask. Mysterio demands. Ah, shut that blasted noise off. Oh, of course I will cooperate fully. All right, Peter. Let's try it one more time. To the Little Rascals. Continues after these messages. It's the Spider-Man Fluff Flyer. You can throw it high in the air and watch it glide. Almost everyone will love to fly by Spider-Man Fluff Flyer. Hey, it's soft! Easy to fly because it's light. It's made of foam. So soft it bounces. Weighs only ounces. Flies indoors or outdoors. The Spider-Man Fluff Flyer from Ilco. It's Munchie Chi, girl doll, boy doll. School time and football fan outfits are each sold separately. Munchie Chi, Munchie Chi, oh so soft and cuddly. With the thumb in her mouth, she's really neat. Fun to wiggle his little feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monchichi girl doll and boy doll are each sold separately from Mattel. New Golden Dream Barbie fashion face, looking so pretty. Now, Barbie, you need a real fancy look for your party. Let's go for it. Because there's quick curl hair all around her face, you can give Golden Dream Barbie fashion face just about any look you can dream up. With glamorous play makeup and lots of sparkling jewelry, too. Is that fancy enough? Yeah, real fancy. Neat curl. Golden Dream Barbie Fashion Face comes with fashion accessories, jewelry, makeup, and sunglasses. New from Mattel. Somebody shut that noise off! We're in the middle of rehearsals! And now, to create my unstoppable army, and I, Mysterio, shall be master of the world. Yeah. 
Bob for it. Listen to me. I am your leader. I am Mysterio. You will obey me. We will obey. Fortunately, my spider nervous system isn't affected by Mysterio's hypnotic beat. And maybe I can use that. Hear my voice and obey. This is one time I might find out more as Peter Parker than I would as Spider-Man. Take me to your leader. I am Mysterio. I am your leader. You will follow and obey. This crowd's getting bigger and bigger. Pretty soon Mysterio will have the whole city of New York under his control. I've got to figure out a way to stop him. Before it's too late. What's going on in this town? Hasn't been a decent crime all day. How am I supposed to put out a newspaper? Eh? What's this, a parade? window. Nothing works around here. Including my employees. I must obey. I must obey. I must obey. Hmm, the Daily Bugle building. I wonder what old Skinflint Jameson thinks of all this. The fun and game time's over, and I'll bet Jameson will just love being rescued by Spider-Man. Suppose everyone would close their eyes while I changed into Spidey if I asked him real nice? Ah, just what the doctor ordered. I am your master. You will follow where I lead. I am Mysterio. My costume should be safe enough down here. And now to do what Spider-Man does best. I must follow. I must obey. Looks like Jameson's fallen for Mysterio's hypnotic music in a big way. Now to tuck him safely in. And that should do the trick. Expect me to put a paper out if there's no crime. Why is it so stuffy in here? It's stuck. What numbskull is responsible for this? At least Chuckles is back to normal. Now to put a stop to Mysterio and his nutty music machine. I am your master. You will do as I command. Insect. You've threatened me for the last time, Domehead! I don't believe it. There's no one here. It's all run by computers. <laughs> Fool! You walked right into my trap. Well, I've got another little surprise for you, Webhead. A new disco beat I created especially for you. <laughs> No, that music, it's, it's, I must obey, I will obey. And now you will learn the penalty for interfering with my plans. I am your master, you will obey me. Ooh. <laughs>
Watch me trick Fred by painting these soap bars gold. <laughs> Morning, Bon. Gold? To share with all my good friends. Well, Bonnie, old bunny, old pile, have some delicious cocoa pebbles. Mmm. Good. Good as gold. <laughs> <laughs> Soap? Of all the dirty tricks! Just good, clean fun, Fred. <laughs> Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious! It's Digital Daredevil, that's the way you say the name. Getting a motorcycle over obstacles is the way you play the game. If you want to be a player, you have to move the cycle just right. And if you don't play real careful, you'll see a flashing light. You can play at lower high speeds and even control a jump. And if you're really a good player, the cycle gets through without a bump. Batteries not included. Digital Daredevil, the digital motorcycle stunt game is made by Tommy. fitting in for our costume clown. Listen and obey my words. Take Spider-Man Spider into, into the, the bank. bank. Clean, clean up, up the vault. vault. And, and then, then lock the way we in the vault. vault. And now to ensure a friendly welcome inside the bank, I'll just increase the volume of my hypnotic music. What's taking the police so long? We can't hold off that crowd by ourselves. This is the first city bank in New York. We need help and fast. I will obey. I must obey. That, that music, it, it, we will obey. We must obey. I hate to ask the obvious, but where am I? Of course. Mysterio must have hypnotized me with his far-out music, then dumped me in this vault. Fortunately, spiders don't need as much air as humans, but still, it won't be long till I suffocate in here. Spider-Man. This is more like it. This is one story I'll cover myself. Once my army of followers captures a nuclear missile, who would dare oppose me? Tumblers falling. It's like music to my ears. And speaking of music, it's time to end Mysterio's music once and for all. What's that rabble doing up there? That music I... I, I will follow. I must obey. No! Yes, sir! I haven't seen New York this empty since... Come to think of it, I've never seen New York this empty. Listen and obey. Capture the nuclear missile. 
to destroy any who stand in our way. I will obey. I will destroy. Nothing. Maybe the general just dreamed it. Dreamed it up, did I? Look. <laughs> now the army will march to my music. All right, men. No matter what, we can. And, and, and music is making me. I will obey. I must obey. But, General, I can't open the door without the password. You must obey. You will obey. But, 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 General! You must obey. You will obey. Uh, well, if you say so, General. I, I, I will obey. Stop me. No! Now hear this. This is your master. You, you must, must obey me. me. Spider-Man Spider is on the base. base. Find, Find him. him. This is destroy him. him. We will obey. We must destroy Spider-Man. Looks like they started the party without me. But no. Spider-Man? No! Whatever's going on, you can bet he's part of it. When I get my hands on that meddlesome insect, I'll... Make it good, Jughead! Your arrogance will be the end of you, wall crawler. You're on my home ground now. Perhaps you'd like a little of my spider disco music. I prefer the Beatles to disco any day. Give it up, Webhead. This glass booth is unbreakable. Don't be so sure, Baldy. <laughs> no! No! Am I here? Or here? Or up here? <laughs> Mister, you're nowhere! Looking for me, web friend? Admit it, wall crawler. The great Spider-Man has finally been beaten. Maybe not, Domehead. Hey! That's a wrap! Show must go on. Good night, good people. I came all the way out 
here in the rain for just one line? Oh, wasn't he wonderful? Ah, new Fast Ones Dynaloop set with a blazing bandit and one-of-a-kind Fast Ones license plate. And now to be the Fast Ones Dynaloop champion. Huh? That's you. Will it really loop the loop? Sure what? Sure. Beat that. There it goes. Dynaloop. I win. Fast Ones Dynaloop set with Fast Ones Blazing Bandit Racer. You have to put it together. New from Kenner. Honeycomb's all right. And post-honeycomb cereal is part of this nutritious breakfast. Big, big bite! What's pink and white and lots of fun and comes inside honeycomb? The Easter Bunny? Nope. <laughs> A pack of chocolate and bubble gum. Look, I got cinnamon! Five different tried and chewing gum flavors. One in specially marked boxes of post-honeycomb cereal. Presenting Ronald McDonald and Wacky World Racers. A race one time around the world and back, and the winner gets a delicious McDonald's cheeseburger. Don't you know? Ooh. Ready? Go! And they're off. Ronald McDonald going to the lead. Gotta win that McDonald's cheeseburger. In England, the goblins are gaining ground. They're losing ground. No, they're gaining ground again. And it's Grimace spinning out of the turn in France. He sure must want that McDonald's cheeseburger. Better hop to it, Hamburglar. Back to France. Well, I hope I'm winning. And back to Ronald McDonald. Meanwhile, in Spain... Olay, olay. And breaking into the lead is absolutely no one. There's no telling who's going to win that McDonald's cheeseburger. And down the stretch they come. Uh-oh, watch out, Ronald. Hop and hamburgers. And the winner is Ronald McDonald by a neck. Well, let's see that finish again. It's still Ronald McDonald by a neck. It's so much fun for you today. Thanks, everyone. I always flip for a McDonald's cheeseburger. At the McDonald's. <laughs> Timer is set. It's just you against the clock. Well, you can run, 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 run. When moments are ticking away, something has got to run out first. The clock or you. Well, you can run yourself ragged. Run yourself ragged by Domi. Lots of American kids are discovering soccer. It's a real kick. But to be good, you've got to use your head. That's why we made the soft Nerf soccer ball. It makes those unexpected hard shots soft. And because it's kid-sized, it's easy to play with. Whether you're playing a fast game, practicing the important shots, or just horsing around. Also available, Nerf hoop, Nerf ball, and Super Nerf. The Nerf soccer ball from Parker Brothers. And a hut, and a hut, and a hut, and a hut, 
and a hut and a hut and a hut and a hut. You know, I think that pig is trying to kill us with this survival routine. Keep moving up, dear. Hut and a hut and a hut. Oh. Hey, Charlie, hey! Oh, come on, you can make it, Laverne. It gets easier about here. Girl, take your stuff. Laverne, how sweet, carrying mine, too. How'd you manage that without my seeing you? With mirrors, Cheryl. Or maybe a portable crane. Okay, cut the lip, you two. Move it out! And the hut, and the hut, and the hut. I'd rather die than survive this way. I'm serious, Laverne. I heard that, Beanie. Here I am, stuck with you two cream puffs. Why me? I ask myself, can you tell me why? Huh? Big block, I guess. A hut and a hut and a hut. Move it, trooperettes. We've still got to pitch camp. I'd rather pitch some pork. When do we get a breather? This dirt is filthy, Laverne. You think Squealy could pick a more sanitary trail? Pigs will be pigs, Cheryl. Pick up those feet, trooperinos. On the double. Whoa! See what I mean, Cheryl? The pig's in his element. He's in more than that. Look! It's a footprint and it's huge! Oh, that's a big foot, all right. Don't say big foot. Don't even think it. Laverne, calm yourself, would you? It's just a large foot imprinted in this moist soil. Yeah, well, I heard stories about this large foot imprinted in people's faces. You hush, Laverne. I don't want to hear it. Keep your horror stories to yourself. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go, page 152, paragraph 6, army position on Bigfoot. A hoax, a myth, a silly legend. In other words, the army does not recognize Bigfoot. Oh, they recognize him, all right, if they saw him. Oh, ah! oh I heard him! Ah! Get back here. No imaginary Bigfoot's gonna halt our training. We still have some serious surviving to do. That's just what we're doing. Company, halt! I mean it. <laughs> Faster, Cheryl! Anything with a beat that big can probably run like the dickens. Halt when I say this. Whoa! Why? Their G.I. Gooses are cooked now, deserting an officer, fleeing an unofficial beast, abusing a superior pig. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can hide from Bigfoot in that old mine, Cheryl. Yellow Dog Mine. Danger. Do not enter. Condemn. If Bigfoot can read, he sure won't follow us in there. Right, Laverne. With those signs outside, who'd be stupid enough to go inside? <laughs> This place is filthy. Yeah, well, it's probably the maid zero up. Sure. There's a light up ahead. Or something. Retreat, Laverne! Ah! Hey, relax. We're not going to hurt you. Oh, Laverne, will you look what we found? Anything we can do for you ladies? Lots of things. Show us around, take us to dinner, buy us expensive presents. I like your style. Direct. This here's Slade. I'm the dude. This here's Laverne. I'm the Cheryl. Don't you do know that Bigfoot has been ravaging this area? Yeah, we know. It just so happens we're running from him at this very minute. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's where they ran off to. You two better hike back out of this forest and hightail it on home. We will do no such a thing. Really? You two bozos will have to answer to the U.S. of A. Army for misleading my troops. There is no Bigfoot. And as for you two... Why, it's a pig, Slade. Say that with respect, mister. As I was saying, we're going to march right back to that forsaken wilderness and set up camp. Forward, hut! Yes, sir! As you were, men. Hup, two, three, four. Hup, and a hup, and a hup. You think they'll be coming back, dude? Well, if they do, they'll regret it. Right, Slade? Ha, 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 
<laughs> now that is a tent. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Although what this is is anybody's guess. Give me a hand here, Cheryl. This rope isn't long enough. Ah, uh, just a second, would you? I think my tent nail is too short or something. It's called a tent stake, Beanie, not a tent nail. Please, Squealy. I'm under stress. You bivouac bimbos. <laughs> Sergeant Turnbuckle's going to get a detailed report on this, I can tell you. Get me out of here and the double. Well, there we are, Laverne, a tent fit for a queen. Yeah. It's amazing what a little talent in six hours can do. Well, it was our first tent, don't forget. Next time, five hours. A new forest record. Mmm, smells like dinner's on. Am I starved? I like my food. My food likes me. I like to feel in my stomach. It feels good for me. Boy, Squealy, those steaks smell terrific. Are they ready? Let's see. Ready and perfect. Squealy, you ate all three steaks. Yeah, what is this? A one pig pig out? That's about the size of it, recruit. It's your survival training, not mine. Boy, playing keep away from Bigfoot all afternoon can sure work up a girl's appetite. And speaking of appetites, Laverne, I cannot believe Squilly didn't leave us so much as a soda cracker. I sure hate to sleep on an empty stomach. Well, you could always sleep on your back. Very funny, Cheryl. Hey, you're not leaving me here alone. Now, don't get hysterical. I'm just going to splash some natural spring water on my face. <laughs> Hey, quiet, Cheryl. I'm trying to sleep. Phew! That is flashing water. You ought to be doing something about that animal breath of yours. Uh, did you put a rug down in here, Laverne? Cheryl! I thought you came back in already. <laughs> Can't you hop any faster, Laverne? Somehow, Cheryl, I don't think they fill these things for speed. It has a nice ring to it, Cheryl. Oh. Let's go spread the word. <laughs> the mine! If anybody could punch Bigfoot out, it's those muscle-bound miners. Well, they did leave a light on for us. Hello? Is anybody home? Gee, you know, I can't say much for their decorating abilities, Laverne. I mean, a nice little still-life painting would be so much more homey than a map of the U.S. Gold Depository. Yeah, well, maps are more masculine. I suppose. Hmm. Looks like all that gold's at the end of this new tunnel somebody's digging. Uh-oh. Laverne, I think those two miners are up to no good. I thought we told you to stay out of here. Slade, dude, <laughs> what a nice surprise. You two have seen too much. Oh, hey, fellas, we really saw very, very little. Boss, uh -huh. It's amazing how little we saw. Right. We don't know anything about you digging that tunnel to rob the U.S. Gold Depository. If I said too much, Cheryl. Well, Laverne, all that's left is to notify our next of kin. Let's get rid of them, dude. Don't bother. We'll get rid of ourselves. Ah! 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 This doesn't look good, Cheryl. No, this is definitely a three-scream situation. Ah! Ah! It's Kenner's new Betty Crocker Quick and Thick Shake Machine. Four D batteries not included. Pour in your milk, add the mix, turn it on, it's fun to fix. Quick and Thick, Quick and Thick Shake Machine. Fast or slow, round and round, tastes so good when she drinks it down. Quick and Thick, Quick and Thick Shake Machine. Mmm, it's thick. Betty
Betty Crocker Quick and Fix Shake Machine with six mixes, new from Kenner. Hey, Dad, meet my new friend, Harry. Kids can wave hi to Harry, and they can make him wave too. Harry is fun, Harry is fun, what you can make him do. It's so sweet loving Harry. Here's why Harry goes where you want him to. Harry's so much fun, he's a hairy one, Harry's hairy is true. Harry comes just as you see here from Knickerbocker. WKYC TV Cleveland. Can you do this? Sure. Mattel's magical musical thing makes making music easy. How about this? The magical musical thing is electronic, 9 volt battery not included. Weird. Mattel's magical musical thing is electronic, comes with songbook. Oh my gosh! Bigfoot! Bigfoot, big chest, big arm! <laughs> We're trapped, Churl, like peanut butter and bananas between two slices of white bread. Don't no talk food, Laverne. We missed dinner, remember? Grab him, Slade! This way! Hey! There's no way out of that tunnel! You think he's telling the truth? They're crooks, girl! They're gonna rob the U.S. Gold Depository! Well, that doesn't mean they're liars, too! Come on! We can hide this mine car! What a mess we're in! We're squealy when we really need him! Probably still sleeping off all that food! All right, little soldiers, up and at them, front and center, on the double. It figures. You can't even keep your tent up. Aha! That suspended sleeping gear would suggest that they went that way. I'll find them, and when I do, they'll be in real trouble. Looks like they gave us the slip, dude. Well, there's nothing they can do to stop us now. We're almost through the wall. And into the depository vault. Yeah, just think all that gold. There for the taking. I'm sorry, Laverne. I just can't crouch idly by and listen to villainy in action. Cheryl! Shame on you! That's U.S. gold you're talking about! Cheryl, please! How dare you! You can't just cart it away like that! Oh, yes, we can. Just like we're gonna cart you away. Hey, what's going on here? What is this? It's your very last roller coaster ride. <laughs> and that's the last anybody will ever see of them. <laughs> okay, Jupat, fall in. This little pig is in no mood for games, especially hide and seek. Sergeant Timebuckle would like to hear that you're not taking surviving seriously. Hmm. Yellow Dog Mine. U.S. Gold Depository. So that's where they went. Up to party with those grimy miners. All clear out front, Jake. Just some pig poking around. Well, you make sure the pig keeps his snout out of here while we finish that tunnel into the vault. Oh, baby me. Now, let's get on with that busting into that gold depository. It's just waiting for us. Ah, they mean robbery. Let me get this straight. First, my troops go A-W-O-L. Now, they're accessories to a crime against the U.S. of A. I'm telling. I'm sure Sergeant Turnbuckle will be very interested in all this. But first, I'd better warn the depository guards. This is the greatest scheme we ever thought of. I'm gonna throw the book at those army camp catastrophes. Conspiracy, refusal to adhere to regulations, insubordination, failure to carry out orders, criminal intent, flat out laziness, and for the most part, crybaby attitudes. Maybe if we just 
pull hard on this thingamajig. Oh, stop, Laverne. Things could be a lot worse, you know. Right now, for instance. There's that depository. And boy, do I have news for them. All right, you phony baloney. You're officially notified that you and your friends are going on report. Now make way for the pig. All right. Shoulders back! <laughs> now hold that, soldier, while I go tell all I know about this gold rock. <laughs> okay, okay, cut the Bigfoot act. <laughs> I'm not impressed, Bob. You're not fooling anybody. Either you need some serious dental work, or else you're the real... <laughs> Bigfoot! So there you are. You two U.S. Army disaster zones are both in very deep trouble. I don't know what the pig is so upset about. You'd be upset too if you were a pig. As of 0800 hours, you are both candidates for full courts, Marshal. Fall in! That is not what I meant by fall in. The verse, listen. They're about to break into the gold depository. Okay, soldierettes. The only way you can get back into my good graces is to help stop this crime. What? Knock out the jackhammer? Right. To save the U.S. of A gold supply. You out of your pork? Tangle with those minor creeps again? No way. Laverne, Laverne, Laverne. Would this little pig let you down? Forward arch. Well, would you let us down? Hut and hut and hut. I think we're about to find out, Laverne. That's it, dude. We're into the vault. Now, let's get on in there and make ourselves rich men. Ha, 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 ha. By the authority of the U.S. Armed Forces, you are both under military arrest. Well, looky here, Slade. The pig and the pit squeaks. What are you doing here? Well, uh, we, uh, we figured maybe you guys would, uh, would give up this life of crime and turn to something more meaningful like... Give it a rest, motor mouse. Okay, you two, fool it. Boy, when that pig says fall in, he means it. Bigfoot! Jake! Take him, Jake! It's the real Bigfoot, Slade! Let's get out of here! As much as I hate to say this, Laverne, I think we better join Slade and the dude. Retreat, hunt! Faster, dude! He's right behind us, Laverne! Wait for your superior pig troops!
right. Who's responsible for the break-in? They are. They are. And who are you? Assistant First Class Under Sergeant to Superior Officer Turnbuckle Commander and Upper Rank on U.S. Army Survival Weekend. <laughs> Sir. He's a pig. Hut and hut and hut and hut and hut. I don't know how we did it, Laverne, but we did survive this weekend. Yeah, no thanks to Grease Lightning there. And I got myself a souvenir. The suit. Give it here, Cheryl. I'll scare Squealy out of his fiction. <laughs> okay, Laverne, you're out of step, you're out of line, and you're out of uniform. Woo in! And a hut and a hut, hut and a hut and a hut. Someday I'm gonna get that picture. I certainly hope so, Laverne. I certainly hope so. Hut and a hut and a hut, hut and a hut and a hut. Is it hard to put on? It takes practice, but it's fun. Crayon Children's Play Cosmetics are each sold separately and washed off with plain soap and water. Crayon. Eyeshadow. Your eyes look mysterious. Love it. Crayon. Cologne. Look, the new age. <laughs> Crayon, lipstick, eyeshadow, nail polish, and cologne are each sold separately. New from Remco. Presenting Ronald McDonald and Rock and McLeod. One, two, three, four. There's nothing McDo it. You can McDo it. Play-Doh construction set. You can build a garage on top of the ridge, then roll out a road in front of the bridge. Play-Doh. You can press out pretend bricks, asphalt, wood, and cement. Then you can tear up the road, smooth it out, and start all over again. One more pipe and this project's done. The Play-Doh construction set's lots of fun. You can make it with Play-Doh. Play-Doh construction set with four mixable colors comes with everything you see here. New from Kenner. Don't miss that flamboy and flyboy, Roger Ramjet. He's buzzing the skies over Funtown and coming up next. Then at 5 Eastern, the Prince of Puzzlers gives the Cape Crusaders a run for their money on Batman, here on the Family Channel.
there's a ball that's lots of fun. It's nerd basketball with a team or one on one. It's nerd basketball, hooking, dribbling, all the moves. Inside, right for kids to use. It's nerd basketball. You can grip it as you go for a layup or free throw. Sure, baby, try to make it with nerd basketball. Also sold separately, Nerf hoop, Nerf ball, and Super Nerf. Nerf basketball from Parker Brothers. Inside the Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set, you'll find two Stomper 4x4's trucks. And when you power them up with batteries you buy separately, the lights go on and four road-grabbing wheels go to work with four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive means you can climb right over the mountain road park. You can tackle almost any surface, almost any incline, because four-wheel drive means power. Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set has everything you see here. Other sets and vehicles sold separately from Shopper. of the playground stuff. It's safe. You aren't. And another thing, Lebo. Two points. I, on the other hand, only have one point to make. Get to work. Okay, Angie. I'm on my... Oops, I forgot. Uh, time's wasting. Gotta get to work. of his own to break in, eh? Little does Angelica know, she's given me a wonderfully wicked idea. And to think I got up early today. Good morning, Mr. LeBeau, uh, sir. Hornswoggle. Some days it doesn't pay to get up at all. But wait, I know we've had our little differences in the past. Little? Are you kidding? Listen, I've had it with the bad life. I want to make good for all the evil I've caused. I want to straighten out, fly right, earn my wings. I need your help. Ha! <laughs> That's a bit hard to swag a horn swallow. I mean, uh... I know what you mean. But think how reforming a bad egg like me would impress Angelica. I gotta admit, he's got a point there. Okay, it's a deal. I'll show you the ropes, but no tricks. Oh, of course, no tricks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, the first thing you gotta do as a new recruit is keep your eyes open for trouble. Trouble? Uh-huh. Check. Got it. And speaking of trouble, look there. I bet your Max just itching to dunk that paint all over poor Hagel. Oh, mercy. How vile. Recruit on Swaggle requesting permission to stop bad deed in progress, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, right on. Go to it. You weren't supposed to stop this that way. Get the cat off his head. Oh, certainly. Whatever you say. All right. Who did it? Huh? Uh, morning, Mac. The ball. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to do anything I'll be sorry for, do you? Especially in front of a witness. But, Andy, my boy, Mac can't see me. Ah! Sorry about that. Uh, I thought we'd have a real civilized talk about this. Ah! Yikes! Sounds like it'll be a pretty one-sided conversation. Mr. LeBeau, you who? Where are you? Is he gone? I must apologize for my awkward handling of that problem. Doing good deeds is new to me. Well, okay, but let's try to be more careful. Oh, I will. I will. 
<laughs> What's that? Sounds like Bartholomew is helping Lydia. Better check it out. Lydia, here's the ice for your party. Thank you, Bartholomew, dear. Put it in the shade, will you? Hmm? What you up to, Bartholomew? Oh, hi, Andy. I'm helping Lydia get ready for a garden party. Mm, look at all the goodies. Sure wish I was going. So do I. What? You mean you're doing all the work and Lydia didn't invite you? Well, uh, I guess so, yeah. Oh, Bartholomew, as soon as you finish chatting, we will have all the chairs to set up. Did she say we? Sure, right away, Lydia. Oh, and bring me some lemonade from the kitchen, please. Sometimes Lydia really takes advantage of him. I think Bartholomew could use a little help. Oh, let me do it. I'll do it. Oh, silly me. I just got carried away. Not to mention Lydia. Oh, no, Lydia, what happened? <laughs> Andy LeBeau, that's what happened. He pushed me in. But, but I didn't... Uh... <laughs> and just look at my exclusive designer dress. I don't uh, suppose it's drip dry. How dare you suggest such a thing? Yeah, I didn't think so. Sorry, sorry. My fault entirely. Here's a towel. Give me that! No! That does it! Oh! You can come out now. She's gone. Oh, go away. I had less trouble when you were bad. Give me one more chance, please. Pretty please. Now I know what Angelica goes through. I know I can make good. Honest. Why me? Why me? <laughs> if my calculations are correct, this device should accurately record the alterations in atmospheric pressure. Could you say that again in English? As I said, it'll tell us what weather to expect. Now, if we only had some wind to carry it higher aloft... Hear that? It's good deed time. Whip up a little breeze for spin. A breeze? I should be able to handle that. Yay! Hey, not bad. That might be hope for you yet. Andy! Hi, sugar. What's happening, guys? I'm doing a barometer reading, Andy. Thanks to this calm, even breeze, I can tell we're in for beautiful weather. You're in for more weather than you'll believe, kiddo. <laughs> there would appear to be some error in my forecast. Yeah, and the error's name is Hornswoggle. If that's your idea of a breeze, I'm glad I didn't ask you for wind. Knock it off! Mm, sorry. I can only start storms, not stop them. Why don't you show me how? But they'll see me. Tisk, tisk. What a darn shame. So that's it. I should have known. May I have your halo? Soon you won't have any use for it. And I'd like to start a collection. You want my halo? Try and catch it. Yikes! What a mess! True, but it does afford protection from the elements. Now I'll show you how it's done. There, how about that? Hey, hey, hey. nice going, teacher. Couldn't have done it better myself. Shucks, I knew I should have spent more time on that chapter. Well, no time like the present. Got it. Let's see. Levitating, disappearing, walking through walls. Ah, here it is. Storm stopping made easy. Sometimes, big brother, I wished you liked simple things.
baseball, tap dancing. I must admit, I'm rather puzzled by the turn of events. After you practiced on this simple stuff, LeBeau, I'll give you some tests on floods, typhoons, and hurricanes. <laughs> okay, let's see now. One spin to the left. Half a turn to the right. And one big jump backwards. And bingo! Sloppy, you good, a sloppy. You forgot this whole patch of storm. I didn't forget. I saved it just for you. Fun by eyes. Hey, the storm's over. I shall have to check out this mechanism. Wanna join us for lunch, Cupcake? Thanks, but I gotta go take care of something. Yes, LeBeau? Here, Angelica, these are all for you. Okay, LeBeau, out with it. Now, what have you done? Nothing. Just wanted to tell you I know what you go through with me. Really? You do? Good, LeBeau. With that kind of attitude, it won't be long before you're training recruits of your own. Well, I hope not. Once, there was this wagon load of blueberries. This gave Bill an idea. Blueberry flavor in the Waffleos. New blueberry flavor Waffleo cereal. A good part of this nutritious breakfast. They're new. Yeah! Now you can get a Waffleos iron-on patch. One free inside specially marked packs of blueberry flavor Waffleo cereal. Three different patches. Waffleo Bill, horse, or both together. One patch per package. Out they go to spend their dough without their common sense. They're the dough nuts. Gordon Graham Gantz specialized in true romance, and he tried at every chance to make it clear. He was suave, debonair. He used oil on his hair. As for girls, well, they thought Gordon Gantz was weird. Gordon thought he'd be just like those actors on TV if he used all the products that they sold. With manly muscles, skin so tan, happy hair, and cologne for man, he dreamed the girls would lose their self-control. Well, it has hasn't worked so far, though he buys things by the carload. Tubes and bottles, jars and boxes, there he goes. Cause he's sure someday he'll pick just the thing to do the trick. And overnight he'll change to instant Romeo. There's a model to be heated. Do you really, really need it? Will all your dreams come true if you just try it? Sometimes changing from within is the best place to begin. Think of Gordon Graham Gantz before you buy it. from Angel Surplus are super. Hmm, that's the gang. I wonder what they're doing. And there's Mrs. Trindle. Looks like something's up. One thing that's up is you, LeBeau. Why aren't you down in Oakville? I was just looking for trouble, Angie. Hmm, so what else is new? May I suggest you go looking for trouble in person? You got it. Hmm, that's what I'm afraid of. Some more cookies, everybody. I hope everybody includes me. Oh boy, these are good. Yeah, yeah they're great. Oh, Thanks. Thanks. Oh, no. <sighs> cookies, here I come. Well, oh, hi, Annie. What brings you here? The heavenly scent of Mrs. Trindle's cookies. What else? Don't be shy. Have some more. I'm trying real hard not to be shy. Why, Mrs. Trendle, is something the matter? Oh, it's... it's nothing. We want to help. Please tell us. Come on, out with it. Well, all right. I just bought this beautiful little dream house in the country, and now I don't have enough money to pay for moving expenses. Is that all? I can pay your moving expenses out of my allowance. Yeah, she's loaded. Oh, no, I wouldn't accept charity. Nothing to it. I'll just levitate all the stuff to the new house. No, you won't, LeBeau. How would you explain tables and chairs and dishes flying over Oakville? 
Uh, well, we could say it was a freak wind. I think I've just been shot down. I got it! Let's move Mrs. Trindle ourselves! Why didn't you think of that, Mr. Guardian Angel? Uh, well, I was, uh, see, it was like this, yeah, yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth. Gee, Mrs. Trindle, I didn't know your building was so, uh... Oh? No, tall! Uh, Lydia, what floor is Mrs. Trindle's apartment on? The very top, what I like to refer to as the penthouse. That's what I was afraid you were going to say. Hmm, what motivated the appearance of that moving truck? Yeah, and besides that, where'd he come from? He came from my allowance, silly. But Mrs. Trindle said... Do we wait for a high wind to carry the furniture? See, Angie? Someone else thought of it, too. <laughs> well, if it isn't the little do-gooder. Morning, Swaggle. You're the moving man. You guessed it, kiddo, and I'm gonna make sure this is a very moving experience for you. I didn't have to look for trouble. It came to me. Hmm. At what point should we commence? How about the piano? This object appears quite substantial. Let's find out. The mass equals half the square of the total weight times the gravitational pull. Well, what does all that mean? The piano is heavy. In that case, let's share the work. You take the piano, and I'll take the stool. <laughs> I should have taken the piano. Maintain a firm grasp. If you mean hang on, I'm with you. If you think I'm going to let you make trouble for the kids, I'm gonna... No! <laughs> it would appear the kids are doing my job for me. Yipes! Yes, you might say that. Not exactly the kind of moving job I had in mind. Gee, I didn't know you were that strong. Actually, I'm not. Oh, I do love canaries. They're so golden. Bye-bye, <laughs> birdie. Oh, heavens! Help! Mrs. Trindle's canary is loose! Yeah, and I'll bet I know the buzzard who's responsible. Good time to practice a little mental control. I wonder how I'll make out with a bird brain. Well, at least you're evenly matched. Sorry, Lebo. Couldn't resist that straight line. Speaking of straight lines, watch this. Oh, what will I tell Mrs. Trendle? Maybe I could buy her a pet shop. Save your money, Lydia. In you go. However did you catch it, Andy? Ah, oh, it was nothing. I know how to handle things with wings. Gee, look at all this heavy stuff. We still gotta move. We may have overestimated our physical capabilities. Yeah, and we bit off more than we can chew besides. Speaking of chewing, why don't we take a luncheon break? My treat, of course. Yes, maybe some nourishment will revive us. I sure hope so, or we're really going to let Mrs. Trindle down. Uh, I'll stick around and keep an eye on things. Looks like your friends are chickening out. They'll never finish. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll be back. But I'm gonna move all this stuff before they get back. How about that? Ha 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 ha!
impossible, especially with me around, to stop you. Well, watch this. Having a bit of trouble, are we? <laughs> hmm. Must be a short circuit in my halo. Ah, I don't even have to do anything. You do gooders are all weaklings. I suppose you could do better. With one ear tied behind my back? Watch. Okay, so you got it off the floor. Let's see you move it. Nothing to it for one with my talent. Satisfied, puny one? Well, it was all right. One little piano. You, yeah, that's mere child's play. Observe. Two at a time. I could do this all day. Wow. Gee, you think I could learn how to do that? Typical. If you want a job done right, you have to do it yourself. Wow, great. And without a scratch, too. Years of practice, do-gooder. Years of practice. There. A job well done. Uh, not quite. I still gotta load it all in the truck. You? At that rate, we'd be here till next week. I'll handle it. There! Completed in record time. Hey, look! Everything's loaded! Why, thank you so much, Andy. But how? Don't thank me. Thank him. Golly, thanks, mister. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh, gee, it was nothing. And I never could have moved here without all your help. Thank you all. You're welcome. See, you do-gooders would never have gotten that job done without me. Right, Hornswoggle? You didn't do bad at all. Bad? I didn't do bad. Mm, that's right. Wait a minute. What? I've been hornswoggled. How embarrassing. Outmaneuvered by that doggone do-gooder. One of these days I'll make the right move. Then I'll hornswoggle the world. <laughs> Well, Lavo, I see Mrs. Trindle is moved in. Yep, and Hornswoggle is sure put out. Here's real turboprop aerial action. Here's Tonka's Hand Command turboprop. You can put an action figure aboard, spin the props, retract the wheels, climb, zoom, and dive. You can pretend to fly anywhere. Action figure not included. Hand Command Turboprop Toy Plane. From Tonka. This boy is losing oh. his grip. Oh. Why did he lose his grip so soon? Oh. He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mm, like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Hey. Cheerio! It's the great tasting bubble yum sweepstakes. Millions will enter to win the grand prize weekend for Ford any Six Flags Park. <laughs> Too. Thousands of other great prizes. To enter, send two wrappers or the words Bubble Yum Bubble Gum to Box 2705, Westbury, New York, 11591.
years, a baby werewolf is born into the Fangsworth family. And so, when the moon shined on little Sherman Fangsworth, he changed into Fangface. A werewolf. Only the sun can change him back to normal. And so, little Fangs grew up and teamed up with three daring teenagers, Kim, Biff, and Pugsy. And together, they find danger, excitement, and adventure. <laughs> from the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Yes, I just got room for your favorite Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back action figures. They fit? Yeah. There's Dengar, Ada Driver, Rebel Commander, Leia, and Q1B. You can hold up to 31 action figures, each sold separately, and you can take them with you. Darth Vader collector's case. Action figures, each sold separately. From Kenner. Banana Frosted Flakes. Shaped out of banana, sweet frosted flakes. Mm. And you can't taste the water just for sipping. Mm. Whoa, Kellogg's put real banana bits on my sugar frosted flakes. They're good. Yeah, Tony, they are great. I knew they'd have appeal. <laughs> it's Kellogg's Banana. New Banana. Mm. Mm. Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Till Snow Lake Lodge. I can't wait to try my new skis. Are you guys ready to hit the slopes? I'm ready, but Fang sure ain't. Hey, what do you mean, Pug? I'm already trying on my ski. You ignopotamus. Your skis don't go on your head. Oh, yeah? That shows all you know. When I go skiing this way, I won't freeze my feet. Biff, up ahead. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, we better see what's wrong. Am I glad you came along? You probably saved my life. Your life? Right. My name is Collins. I work for Mid-City Laboratories. Charlie here is carrying a secret formula. It's a new discovery on how to make synthetic gold. I was assigned to deliver him to Dr. Crawford, our chief scientist, staying at Snow Lake Lodge. My mission was to keep Charlie from falling into the hands of the Scorpion, a dangerous villain who would stop at nothing to get him. But somehow the Scorpion followed me. one of my tires, forcing me off the road. The Scorpion's men were about to take Charlie when you drove up and scared them off. I'm afraid once you leave, they'll come back for Charlie. Wait a minute. How about if we deliver Charlie for you? Yeah, that Scorpion creep would never suspect a fight and we had you, cat. Hey, it just might work. But remember, be careful. Ooh. I don't like it, Pugs. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, shut up. Down there, it's them. Willikers, we're being followed. It's the Scorpion, and now he's got a helicopter. He must have spotted us taking the cat. I'll try and lose him in that tunnel up ahead. Hey, Pugs! Helicopters don't fly through tunnels, do they? Huh, Pugs? Huh? Are you crazy, Five? Tunnels are for cars only. Oh, that's good, Pugs. <laughs> that's really good, because I thought there was a helicopter following us. It is, you meathead. Why didn't you say something? I did, Pugs! I did! That kid is holding the cat. That is unfortunate for him. Lower the scorpion claw. They got fangs! 
that secret formula. Okay, gang, now let's split up and search the area. And let out a whoop howl if you find something. It looks like I'm stuck with you again. <laughs> well, you're no Prince Charming yourself. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Here, kitty! Ooh, ooh, I froze my nose! Keep sniffing. A frozified nose is better than no nose. There's the kitty pubs! There he is! Yikes! He's sitting on a log over a thousand foot drop. Come on, let's get him before he falls. Ooh, ooh. Scorpion, look! Down there! It's the cat! And there's that crazy wolf and one of those nosy kids. Good! Here's our chance to get the cat and get rid of them at the same time. Hold on, kitty cat! We're coming to get you! Okay, follow me. But be careful. This is a delicate operational. Yeah, yeah, delicate. before we all get killed. Well, what did you expect, Pug? <laughs> you never told me what Delicrate meant. <laughs> hey! The kitty cat's running away again! Yikes! And he's running right into the arms of the scorpion. The secret formula is now mine. I'll be the richest man in the world. And now, to get rid of those two. <laughs> Whoa! I'm stealing the head! We made it, Pug! We made it! Yeah, but those creeps got away with the cat! We gotta get Biff and Kim here and configurate a way across that chasm! Right, Pugs! I'll give them the signal! Okay, here's the plan. One end of this rope bridge is tied to that tree. Now we give Fangface the other end and catapult him across the chasm. Then we can get across and track down those crooks. 
Are you ready, Fang Face? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> okay, fire away. Ooh, ooh. I forgot something. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Good going, Fang Face! Come on, gang. Let's cross that bridge. So far, so bad. Not a trace of that scorpion or his snowmobile. Yeah! Not even a teensy winky trait or a little bit. <laughs> Hold it, gang. Look over there. It's a snowmobile rental. Maybe that man can give us some help. Yeah, I heard a snowmobile pass by about 20 minutes ago, headed off towards Avalanche Mountain. That's gotta be them! Right. Now all we gotta do is rent one of these snowmobiles and catch those catnappers! Yeah! If I was you, I'd be very careful. Avalanche Mountain can be extremely dangerous. Don't worry, we will! They're on their way. Well, it looks like we're going in the right direction. Those are their tracks up ahead. And they lead right into that tunnel. There's no sign of the scorpion or the cat anywhere. Gosh, where could they have gone? Yeah, because we're running out of tunnel. You're right, Pugsy. We've hit a dead end. Now what do we do? I hear it! I hear the little kitty cat! It's coming from behind us! Willikers, it's the scorpion! They tricked us! Oh, we're trapped! We'll be seeing of those meddlers. <laughs> but still he has he seen. Beans will give you your protein. My good buddy right is an energy divine. Put us together as a team. We've got a flavor that's the breeze. Brush your teeth. Haven't got time, Mom. Good. Open wide. Who are you? Hurtful J. Cavity's the name. By not brushing, you're asking for some nice, hurty cavities. Never fear. AIM is here. Ooh, I hate AIM. AIM fights cavities and it tastes good. AIM does taste good. Now maybe you'll brush. Brushing is as important as fluoride in fighting cavities. I will brush with AIM. Bye. Good girl. Take AIM against cavities. Be two tons of snow blocking that entrance, and there's no other way out. We'll be frozified like icicles. I won't let no scorpion make an icicle out of you, pugs. No, sir. I'll get us out of here. He's digging a tunnel under the snow. Come on, gang. Let's follow Fangface. Good work, Fang Face. Your super digging saved us. Now let's find the scorpion. Oh, one minute. Can't leave an open hole. There, nice and neat. Hey, get me out of here. Oops. Oh, sorry, Pugs. Sorry. Stop that. You're slobbering all over me. These snowmobile tracks are fresh. We must be close behind. Look. There's the scorpion. And they're getting away. Quick. we got to stop them. It's too late. They got away. Yeah, too bad.
had that next trams out of reach, or we could have followed them. Don't get us a horn, pug! <laughs> I gotta look at the bright side of this mess. At least the scorpion won't know we're following him. You'd have to be crazy to do what we just did. So, this is where they're hide-a-fying out. Follow me, Fangs. We're gonna sneak in and check out the saturation. Not me, Pudge. I'm not sneaking anywhere. Start sneaking, I said. It's no use. I can't find the formula anywhere on this cat. Boy, he's stupid. I'd bribe Charlie with a mouse. Eh, hey, shut up. Before we get caught, mouse. That gives me an idea. An idea, Pugs? You got an idea? Huh? 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 Yeah. I'm going fishing with this toy mouse to catchify me a cat. Forget Get him! Not now, Charlie. Let's get out of here. It's those kids. After them. Grab that raft. Quick, into the raft. Now start paddling. Those guys, huh, Pods? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Nothing! Nothing! No, no, no! You had to ask, didn't you? That snowball looks just like the moon! The cat! Yeah! Got him! But one thing's for sure, the scorpion won't give up trying to get Charlie. So it looks like we've got to get the scorpion. And you two snowmen give me an idea on how to do it. They will try to get the cat to the lodge. This is our last chance to stop them. There they are now, scorpion. After them! We've been tricked! We've been following nothing but a couple of snow dummies! Stop! <laughs> 
what I call down in the dumps. Good work, Fangface. You sure put them where they belong. Yeah, that'll teach the scorpion. He's no match for a werewolf. It's Bucky. Thanks for getting Charlie to me safely, kids. Our pleasure, Dr. Crawford. Now let's see who's behind this scorpion mask. Oh, my gosh! Mr. Collins, you're the scorpion? If it weren't for you kids, I'd be a rich man right now. No one would have ever suspected me of stealing that cat. You were trying to make it look like you were a victim of the scorpion, too. But you didn't count on Fangface to spoil your plans. One question, Doc. Where'd you hide the formula? <laughs> yeah, where'd you hide it, Doc? I love secrets. This is a special cat, a Manx. They have no tails. The formula was in its fake tail the whole time. Well, I'll be a werewolf's uncle. Pretty smart, a pug in the tail. <laughs> yeah, who'd have thought to look in an animal tail? And speaking of animals, it's time to change this one back. Here, look at his picture of his son. Mr. Scorpion Pugs, he won't scare me this time. I'm ready for him. Now I'm ready for him. These snowballs will stop him. Where are you, Scorpion? Come and get me. You'll never take me away. He got me. I surrender. I surrender. You ignopotamus. That's no Scorpion. That's a Charlie. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I was just fooling. I knew it all the time. Right, Charlie? <laughs> Your Honor, let's look at the evidence. New Dinky Donut cereal looks like little donuts. But it stays crispy in milk. And it's fortified with eight vitamins. Plus iron. Dinky Donut cereal is a good part of this nutritious breakfast. And, and we rest our case. Why? The judge ate the evidence. I couldn't help it. The case is closed. New Dinky Donuts looks and tastes like little donuts. But it's really a delicious cereal. I love it. Alert the troops! They're protecting Toothopolis with some new gel. They must be out of crest. Attack! We make cold and deep! Cavity creeps! New crest down! New crest down! A new gel as tough as crest? It's great tasting crest gel with fluorostat. You creep! Repelled by crest gel. You'll love the flavor. Why you fight cavities with, with new, new crest, crest gel. gel? Taste great! Crest! Crest! Look, sharks! Stealing our super sugar cream cereal! Unfair! Get ready for Superman! Superman, you're shocked! Superman, I want that delicious cereal! Hey, good eye, shark breath! Yay! You saved our post Super Sugar Crisp, part of this nutritious breakfast! A super cereal deserves a super bear! Listen up, there is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa.
<laughs> oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! Mercy! I rice cars, Kepler. See the ricing stripes? We bake cookies. See the fudge stripes? Wow! We put stripes of chocolatey good fudge on crisp shortbread cookies, so Kepler fudge stripes taste chocolatey good outside, crispy good inside. Mmm, delicious! I bet these fudge stripes go fast. Kepler fudge stripes, fudge sticks, and deluxe Grahams. Chocolatey, crispy good. When I fly, Feathers get ruffled. Porcupine! My name's Poppy. Oh, I wanted to fly south sooner. Silly goose. And this sharing Kellogg's sugar corn pop cereal? Sugar corn pops? Do these think they're, they're good? good? They've got a big, sweet, crunchy corn taste. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, these, these do, do think, think they're, they're good. good. Poppy, I like sharing sugar corn pops. Point is, they're so good, I get goosebumps. Ah! Say transmission. Fonz, Fonz, fix this thing and take us home, please. Stand over there, Ralph. The screwdriver is mightier than the machine. A little adjustment here, and a little adjustment there. That ought to do it. All right, fine. Oh, it's been years. <laughs> Fantastic. This kind of work makes me very thirsty. Dirty, thirsty, 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 thirsty. Uh, calm yourself, Dick Tuck Cake. Just put us down next to a lake, that's all. Right, Fonz. The Earth's covered with water. How could I miss? Oh, boy! Water, 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 water. <laughs> Well, for one thing, you could land in the middle of a desert. The Arabian Desert. You genies? I could certainly use one just now. Hey, a damsel in distress, I presume. Yes, ever since my evil Uncle Abdul the Cruel took over my kingdom. <laughs> I am Princess Charisma. Yeah, and I'm Martha Fonzarelli at your service. Hey, what about us? Oh yeah, they're at your service too. What Richie means, Fonzie, is we've got to find water. I can supply all the water you need. All right, Your Worship. You're my kind of princess. If you can help me defeat my uncle and his powerful genie. Powerful genie? Uh, on second thought, maybe we can take care of the water ourselves. Forget the dousing rod, cool. There's no water in this desert. <laughs> Ralph, look! An oasis! No water, huh? Last one in's a rubber duck! Will you cool it in the sandbox? You guys are swimming in a mirage when we should be getting the princess back on her rightful throne. Yeah, Father. 
sounds is right. The sooner we do that, the sooner we get out of this sand trap. Maybe we better hide the time machine first. Leave that to me. Cupcake, the next time you want to help. Yes, Richie? Keep your hands in your pockets. Hello? Anybody home? The gates are locked. I'll take care of them. Your pockets, Cupcake. We don't need another sandstorm, right? But we could use a ladder. One ladder coming up. Uh-oh. Oh, moon craters. All I got was a rope. Well, half a rope ladder is better than none. Excellent lassoing fun. Don't go away. I will be right back. Very, very cool. <laughs> ah, Charisma, you have returned. Yes, Uncle, and this time I am not alone. We shall soon see about that, my dear. Guards, seize her! Stand back, everybody! I'll handle this! Not now, Cupcake. Hey, come on, your royal ship. Things could get a little rough. See what I mean? Run for it, Ridge! Wait a minute, Ralph. We gotta stand up and be counted. You're right, Ridge. So count me out! Whoa! Hey, bucko! You can't capture the princess. That's... that... that's un-American. Now, Fox, now! Cupcake? All right, relax, Rich. I'll take care of this one, all right? Whoa! 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 Thanks, Fox. I needed that. Trying my patience, Abdul. I just might have to. Now, fun! Now! You know, get to work. Huh. Whoa! Now, Cupcake! Now! I'll get us out of here! <laughs> Cosmic calamities! Very good, Cupcake. Very, very good. You got us out of one mess and right into another. Sorry, Fonz. Sometimes my fingers are all thumbs. Well, Fonz, look on the bright side. At least we got into the palace. And here you shall stay as my guests until Charisma tells me where the treasure is. And she had better tell me soon. See, Fonz, that Abdul sure knows how to put on the pressure. 
So nothing will stand between you and the treasure, master. <laughs> no, genie, nothing. <laughs> Come, princess. Your friends can't help you now. Oh, yeah. We'll just see about that. What? I fizzle. <laughs> and we have a ransom to discuss. A king's ransom. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Somehow. Hey, perk up your ears. No princess has given up no national treasure on my account, dig it? But it seems only fair, Fonz. I mean, we may be giving up everything for her. I will never find the formula for fruit flavors. My dear professor, fruit flavors you seek? Yo? Yeah. Cheer up, my friend, and follow my beak. Just follow my nose. Das ist am nose. It's always known. Fruit flavors? <laughs> Wunderbar. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal, orange, lemon, cherry, and other natural flavors fortified to be part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, what is this delicious formula? Simple. Three parts Fruit Loops, one part milk. Applejack cereal from Kellogg's can be part of a nutritious breakfast. During rush hour, I always get a seat. A, a porcupine. porcupine! Call me Poppy. Can we bear porcupine? Can you bear sharing Kellogg's sugar corn pop cereal? Sugar corn pops? Do bears like them? They've got a big, sweet, crunchy corn taste. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Bears do like them. Poppy, I like sharing sugar coin pops. Point is, rush hour without them would be grizzly. Uh -huh. That new goalie looks a little green. Give me a smack. Oh, I meant Kellogg's sugar smacks. Smack, smack, sugar smacks. I dig them. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Fun to eat those pumps of wheat. Kellogg's sugar smacks. You're still too green for Ace of Smack Shop. Nope, too yellow. Kellogg's Sugar Smacks, part of this nutritious breakfast. You'll dig them. I know the thin is in, Font, but this is ridiculous. All right, there's only one way to treat hardware like this. Show it who's boss. Galaxy Galaxy! Oh, Font, way to go. Wow, Font. Hey, come on. You gotta get the princess before Abdul gets the treasure. Hey! Nice going, cool. But stop hanging around, will you? We've got work to do. <laughs> Where do you think he went? My infallible intuition tells me he went that way! Uh oh. Infallible intuition. <laughs> well, usually, I guess we better go back the other way, huh? Too late now. You there, strangers! And I've got an infallible intuition of my own. Find a place to hide! Lead me to your father's secret treasure cave, princess. Or your friends will become permanent guests in my dungeon. Don't worry yourself, Dev, your beautifulness. Fonzie! Wait! All right, cool. All right. Hey! Yay! Laundry! Well, fuck all my swash if it isn't that the Unculo. Guards, seize him! Hey, you don't touch without permission. Uh, you've 
interfered with my plans once too often. <laughs> nice work, Cool. <laughs> All right, grab the lamp. Come back here, you! Mr. Cool, stop! The genie is evil, no matter who rubs the lamp. What? Don't run from nobody. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Quick, through there. Run! My princess. Straight down is not exactly what I had in mind. This time there's no escape. What? That's what you think. When there's a Fonzarelli. Really... There's a way. Quick, grab them, you fool! Hey, cool, will you get up here? Oh. All right, you hot rod hall runner. Let's motivate. Going there? That's the harem. The harem? All those beautiful women? Rich, what are we waiting for? Ralph, Ben can't go in there. Ralph's right. It's the harem. Or the guards. Even you can make that choice, Rich. But first. Oh, cupcake. Now this is pathetic. The guys back home find out about this, I'll be laughed out of Milwaukee. What's the matter? You want to hide, don't you? But speaking of hide. Let's get out of here before we lose ours. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can do it. I can do it. I thank you in the name of my people for rescuing me. Abdul cannot open the treasure cave alone. He needs me with him. And he'll do anything to get hold of you. And the treasure, right? You understand Abdul perfect. Trust, it ain't harm. But he's breathing down the back of my neck. All right, fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Seatbelts? Huh? Yeah, it's time to see what this baby can do. <laughs> yeah, but first we gotta find Cupcake and the guys. Hey, Cupcake, gotta get us out of these clothes. Not yet, Richie. Look. Uh oh, just act natural, Rich. I'll handle this. Natural. Be careful out here tonight. Some prisoners have escaped. Oh, thanks, soldier. I, I hear they're dangerous, desperate men. Ralph! You might need special protection. <laughs> I get off in an hour. Uh, 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 um, and maybe some other time. Hey, wait a minute! It's the escaped prisoners! Grab them! Wait! I can explain. It's a masquerade party. A traveling circus. Air raid! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Hey, great yeah, flyers! Uh, well, I would have been here sooner, but I got caught in traffic. Hold on tight, everybody! Oh, Abdul and his genie are right behind us. And he's gaining fast! I'll put some distance between us. Congrats, Cupcake. It looks like you finally pulled one off. <laughs> Perhaps I spoke too soon. Bunzi! Say goodbye to your friends, Princess, for the last time. He's getting away! We'll never catch him now! <laughs> your friends will soon be far behind us, Princess. The treasure is as good as mine. <laughs> No, it is not, Uncle. I will never help you find it. Yes, you will, my dear. Or your friends will suffer. Show her, Genie. Yes, Master. <laughs> a mere cloud will not stop Fonzie. No, but a stone wall will. 
they will all be hurt. Or worse, princess, unless you tell me where the treasure is hidden. <laughs> They're getting away with Princess Charisma. We're stranded on a used flying carpet in the middle of some desert. And you're worried about a princess? Save the crying towels for later, you two. The find is always prepared. Then quick, follow that flying carpet. To hear is to obey. Hey, there's a cloud up ahead. But not for long. I'll just zap it with my 25th century powers. I think you've got that little backwards there, Cuppers. It looks more like the cloud zapped us. Oh, moon craters! All right, I gotta keep an eye peeled for the princess. Anybody else want to pilot this thing for a while? Not me, Fonz. I think I hear my mother calling me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Cool. Looks like you're my only volunteer. <laughs> Are you sure you can handle this? All right, cool, you got the job. Just drive real carefully, huh? Oh! Maybe you better take over again, Fonz. On the other hand... Ah! Maybe you better hold on for dear life! Cosmic calamities! Oh, no, Ronky! Up, oh, cool. Pull up, boy. Whoa! <laughs> nice work, Mr. Cool. I, I think you spoke too soon, Rich. Whoa! Uh, Mr. Cool, I've just revoked your pilot's license. Please. Oh, no. Everybody duck. Yikes. Well, at least we're gaining altitude. Leaping laser beams, I'm not sure that's a blessing. <laughs> oh, no. We're right back where we started from. There's that black cloud again. This is your last chance, Princess. Where is the treasure? All right, I will tell you, if you promise not to harm them. Agree. It is in a hidden cave in the Hoboob Highlands. Quickly, Jenny, to the Highlands. Yes, Master. But what about my friends? They will have to take care of themselves. But you promised. You should know better than to trust me, Princess. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cool, the joyride is over to the back of the car. Right, Rocky! Yes! Hey, Fonz! How do you explain these falling rocks? I don't intend to explain them, Cunningham. Merely avoid them. Careful with that thing. You could hurt somebody. Bonds, there goes Mr. Cool. I'll save him. <laughs> nice work there, Cupcake. Just one thing. What's that, Bonzi? Next time, try to make your magic a little more permanent, huh? I'm doing the best I can, Rich. <laughs> Shooting stars, a meteor shower. I'll blast them, Fonzie. Never mind, Cupcake. This looks more like my department. <laughs> now, let's find Princess Charisma. Now, get us inside. Open sesame. All right, everybody, let's move out. 
<laughs> We're too late, Fox. Hey, not so fast there, Cupcake. Open says me. Say me! <laughs> At last, the treasure is mine. Hey, maybe you better think that one over again, Abby. It's nicer to share. The only thing I want to share with you is my genie. You robbed the master. Have it your way, Abdrul. Hold it, Fonz. I'll match my 25th century magic against the genie any old day. Okay. I think that was very bad timing. I can do it, Fonz. Watch. Hey, nice going, Ralph. Well, Ginny, it looks like it's just you and me now. But not for long. <laughs> Your move, Rich. I got it, Bonds. Hey, like I always say, teamwork always pays off. Thanks for the water, princess. We couldn't spin off without it. And without the genie, Abdul the Cruel is Abdul the Camel Driver. What can my people do to repay you? Uh, well, your royalness, there is one thing you could do, like move that mirage. Oh, we will never get out of here. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so great, even the two-headed giant took sides. Crunchy wheat. Nicely sweet. Crunchy wheat. No. Nicely sweet. Frosted mini wheat. Oh, wheat goodness on one side. And frosting on the other. That's what makes the crunchy wheat nicely sweet. Frosted mini wheats are part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, delicious. But people still take sides. Crunchy wheat. Nicely sweet. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Hi there. Hi there. Very good. Very good. I'm Morgan the Mockingbird. I want to sing with flavor like Kellogg's Plump Juicy Raisins. Raisins? Two scoops of raisin for the reason. Kellogg's Raisin Brand so pleasing. I ripen two scoops of raisins for every box as part of this nutritious breakfast. Two scoops of raisins. In Kellogg's Raisin Brand. Two scoops. Two scoops. Two scoops. We uh, said that. We uh, said that. Two scoops. Two scoops. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie Makeup Fun. It's the new Barbie Cosmetics Beauty Set. It's beautiful Barbie makeup all in one set. With Barbie Cologne, Barbie Lipstick, Barbie Eyeshadow, Barbie Blush, Barbie Nail Polish all in one beautiful set. You're so pretty. Can I try some? Certainly, my dear. <laughs> Barbie Cosmetics Beauty Set comes with everything you see here. Available in reds or pinks from Mattel. What a weird playroom. I'm lining up for breakfast with my delicious cereal, Count Chocula. You show off. Kids love my delicious cereal, Frankenberry. It's lots of strawberry flavor and tasty marshmallows. Wow. Good shot, Count. And a great cereal. Chocolatey flavor and tasty marshmallows. Terrific. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. <laughs> you can enjoy a good, nutritious breakfast with Frankenberry. Count Chocula.
High C fruit drinks, you get the fresh, delicious fruit taste of High C and a full day supply of vitamin C. They call it the box drink box, the High C drink box. Whoa. I've waited a long time for this, Luke Skywalker. Ready, Darth Vader. Introducing Bespin World, new from Star Wars Micro Collection line. 16 die cast figures and action poses included. It's three play sets in one. I'll connect Gantry to Bespin Control Room. Watch what happens to Luke. Activate Bespin Freeze Chamber. Han looks frozen. Let's connect him. It's the whole world of Bespin. Bespin World from Star Wars Micro Collection line. Play sets also sold separately. Figures included. New from Kenner.